September 11th, 2011. Ground Zero at Church and Vesey Street. The propaganda event was over and I was compelled to speak out about my feelings and observations, both to share them publicly and also to raise a question. Can there ever be healing, tribute, and proper respect given to the 9-11 victims without first telling the truth about what happened there? This is what happens to you in freedom-loving America when you exercise your First Amendment rights. Okay. See that one? Yeah. People of New York, when will we, we be allowed to know the truth about 9-11? When will we be allowed to investigate 9-11? This paper has proven scientifically that the evidence of thermite bombs has been found in the dust of the World Trade Center. When will we be allowed to investigate properly the crime committed here? When will we honor the victims and the heroes of 9-11 by finding out who did it? When will we be allowed? When will we be allowed to free speech a free country? When will we be allowed to investigate 9-11? Guys, guys, don't play into him, all right? All right? He wants it. He wants you to play into it. All right? Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hopefully more than just one. Shut What's he arrested for? Everybody back up, please. Come on, guys. Let's go. Up, Come on. Come on. Come on. Guys, stand back, please. Just telling the truth. As they rushed me out of public view, a heated discussion ensued. While one officer agreed that 9-11 was indeed an inside job and that I was not dangerous, another rookie there kept telling me to stop. Stop what, I said. I'm not doing anything illegal. What he wanted for me to do was to stop telling him the truth. Stop killing his comfort zone. He wanted me to stop questioning, stop seeking justice for 9-11, because all this implies that he too is morally bound, like I am, to act on the truth. All in all, though the officers were fundamentally wrong about the eventual disorderly conduct charge and admitted it, they were generally respectful except of my First Amendment right to free speech. The First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. It does not say anywhere in there except during sacred 9-11 ceremonies or except without a permit or except under the auspices of a police state. What people like me cannot fathom, however, is how one can know the truth and simultaneously repress it by just following orders. The NYPD and the New York Fire Department both know that their people died that day because the towers were blown up not because they collapsed by the airplane impacts. Before the day was done, I spoke to about 10 officers about 9-11 Truth. All of them were deeply interested in knowing more about the science of 9-11. 
In the end, even the rookie who booked me apologized and had learned something very important. That not even he was truly safe until 9-11 is properly investigated. <laughs>